Let's go, Leafs win. Two out of three. Let's go. Better than one out of three. Yep, but uh, Leafs win, we have, we're gonna do uh, games four, five, and six recaps, along with some news that we have to tell you at the end of the video. So let's get right to the video. Here we go. Four against the Winnipeg Jets. Yes. Three one. Let's go over the goals right here. First period, no goals. Second period, John Tavares net one in. That's what you like to see from your veteran players. He's a veteran, and yeah, you want to see that from your star players making seventy-seven million dollars, eleven million dollars a season. And it's also a power play goal, assist coming from Nylander and Muzzin, which is a good, good. It's okay. Then Mitch Marner nets one in, making the score 2-0. Toronto Maple Leafs, this is amazing. First of the game, Hall and Matthews get the assists and makes the score 2-0. That's great. Kyle Connor gets one for the Winnipeg Jets. Also, in the second period, 2-1, the Toronto Maple Leafs are leading this one. And at the third period, a lot of back and forth, but then with 23 seconds remaining in the period, Mitch Marner scores the empty netter with Kerfoot and Hall on the assist, making it 3-1 Toronto, and least for the win! Let's go! One of three games! So, the Maple Leafs absolutely destroyed on shots on goal, 38-28, to in the favor of the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Leafs were 1 for 1 on the power play, while the Winnipeg Jets was 0 for 4 on the power play. You do not like to see that. So, we got 10 minutes in the box in total, and the Winnipeg Jets got 4 minutes in the box. A hit, the Winnipeg Jets were 31 to 25 in the Jets' favor, and hit. Blocks, it was also in the Jets' favor, 11-10. But pretty close. But pretty close. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty good overall game. Then we had the Oilers versus the Maple Leafs on the 20th. Which... A classic, McDavid versus Matthews, Tavares versus Leon Dreisaitl. This was an amazing game. Let's, let's go over it. So, the Oilers ended up taking it 3-1 in the game. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, Jumbo Joe and Austin Matthews get injured in this game. Yeah. We'll go over that at the end of the video. So stick to the end of the video to find out what happened. So, first period. First period, Yamamoto scores unassisted, making the score one nothing. Edmonton. Not Ooh. what you like to see. Second period, a lot of back and forth, no goals, and then the third period. The third period, Austin Matthews nets one in, first of the game, assist coming from Hyman and Brody, which is a great thing. Brody getting on the board right there early in the game, in the third period, 1-1 one, one, tie, let's go. And then the boo-hoo. Then Leon Dreisaitl. Now, I didn't want to see Leon Dreisaitl or McDavid scores, and in an interview, between Sheldon Keefe and the reporters, Sheldon Keefe said, we will try to maintain McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl, and they didn't get the job done on the power play. Not what you like to see. Then, Josh Archival gets one, making the score 3-1, and that's how they end the game. Three that is not what you like to see. No, that was a loss. Boo-hoo. So, the shots are... 
pretty much even 26 and 22 in the Toronto Maple Leafs favor. Um, we were one, they were one for three on the power play. We were 0 for 2 on the power play, which not is not good. what you like to see. Four penalty minutes for the Oilers, but six penalty minutes for the Maple Leafs. And hits were in the Oilers' favor, 25 to 20. Blocks were in the Oilers' favor, 19 to 6. Wow. This was an overall crap shoot right here. And no, that's not what we need to play. Not a good game. But no. then, Leafs for the bounce back on Friday's game. Win. What a win. First period, no goals. Back and forth. Leon Dreisaitl scores the first of the game on a... Sh okay. Classic Leafs here. Short-handed goal, my friend. We are on the power play, and we just cough it up, give him a wonderful gift on our plat power play. Short-handed goal. Leon Dreisaitl gets early in the game, in between Anderson's five hole. Close it up! There could have been, this could have been 5-2 if Simmons would have put that puck in the net. Simmons had a very good chance when he uh, took his first shift in the first period. He went in, and shot it on goal, and he was so close. He was so close, and he, but he missed. But man, Simmons is a very good player. He's a good addition. But then, Adam Brooks gets on the board. First goal of his NHL career. Mm -hmm. Wow. Power play goal. So on the same power play, we get a shot right there. That's amazing. Adam Brooks, it must feel good, you youngster. Welcome to the team. Welcome for your first goal. And then Jimmy VZ, Second as a Toronto Maple Leaf, gets the score, 2-1 Toronto. That's what we like to see right there. Yes, with Nylander and Kerfoot on the assist, making it 2-1 Toronto. And then in the third period, Connor McDavid pulls one, making it 2-2. Two -two. Tie game. Yes. And Connor McDavid gets on the board right there. Yep, yeah, that, that is upsetting. That is upsetting. But then, at the, John Tavares nets one in, power play goal, 3-2 in the Toronto Maple Police favor. Johnny T! With and we needed the stars to show up this game. And then, I've probably never seen this before, but with one second Remaining. Point 0.4 seconds. Point 0.4. Point 0.4. Correction. Point 0.4. Not even half. Point 0.4 seconds remaining in the game. Marner scores the empty netter unassisted, making four it 4 2 Toronto. And the Toronto Maple Leafs Police win. win the game. Let's go. I was I was in shock with that last goal by Marner. I can't believe. I, I looked at the clock and I'm like 0 0.4. Oh my goodness. 0 0.4. And now some stats of the game. Shots on goal. Oilers uh, took the lead there, 32-29. Power play. Leafs did amazing on their power play units this game. Two for two. Oilers 0 for two. Boo hoo. Penalty minutes, four, four, even. But we capitalized on it, they didn't. 34 hits to the Toronto Maple Leafs whopping 26 hits. Mm -hmm. And Oilers 17 blocks to the Maple Leafs sad 15 blocks. So pretty good game overall for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Great bounce back. They improved now to four and two, making the top spot for in the Canadian division. And the Oilers have some big issues for their two and four in the season. No. Very early though. So, no, it's still early, right? But it's not good. Freddie Anderson gets the first star of the game. And the second star of the game was John Tavares. And then the third star of the game was Leon Dreisaitl. I, I knew I knew from the start that Anderson was going to get this star because he was uh, just phenomenal this game. So, yes. So, that's it. We improved to 4-2 and two in the trial. But now... We have uh, some problems with the injuries from the so, Game 5. 
So, so Jumbo Joe Thornton will list will, will miss at least one month with a rib fracture. One month. And Austin Matthews is day, listed day to day mm -hmm. with an upper body soreness. Won't play. He didn't play on Friday no, against no. the Edmonton Oilers. Mm -hmm. And but in Matthews' absence, the rest of the stars came in. Came in good, but. He's gonna, Jumbo is gonna miss a month. I don't believe Austin Matthews will miss, he will miss some time, but he won't miss a lot of time. Not a month. I think he will be back next game, hopefully. We have to wait and see uh, what happens. There's no news yet on the roster for to, uh, for Sunday's game, so we're not sure. But, traveling with the Leafs in Alberta is Travis Boyd. It makes sense why the Leafs are doing this. Uh, because we have the injuries that we're dealing with because of Matthews sitting out Friday's game, like we just mentioned. We're not sure if Boyd will make an appearance in any of the games, but uh, well, they haven't announced our roster yet, so we're not sure. But you'll find out what happens before the game anyways. Okay, so now let's get on to some, some train juicy, news. Juicy train news that has breaking train news from this morning. Pierre-Luc Dubois has asked management and John Tortorella, he wants the hell out of um, Columbus. After he does getting, not want to yeah, get there. He doesn't want to be there after getting benched by uh, Tortorella. And Tortorella is sour. He, he drank some sour milk <laughs> and he's that. sour and he benched. Pierre Luc Dubois after a soft hit. Yeah, I don't disagree. He looked like he was picking his nose on vacation. He looked like he was getting an ice cream for the boys after the game. Consolation prize. And he gets traded for the Winnipeg Jets. And then coming the other way to the Columbus Blue Jackets, Patrick, Patrick Line, Line oh baby. My goodness. Patrick Line is going the other way to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Along with. Jack Roslovic. Yes. Going the other way. To the. And also. Winnipeg also receives a third yes. round pick in the 2022 NHL draft. But the Winnipeg Jets. I think they lose this trade because they get Pierre Luc Dubois, but. Patrick Line, maybe a 40 point player that he can produce 20 point minimum. That's amazing. This is amazing right here. Yeah. This is well deserved. Who, who do we think? Whoa. Columbus Blue Jackets. Yeah, they, they probably won. Top this notch. Trade. With Liney, they definitely won this trade. Let's go. Not saying Dubois is horrible, but uh, I, Laney is better. He has the better record. Congratulations to Columbus Blue Jackets Even for though, picking I, I their really, nose of I, gold. I don't really like them. And pulling out diamonds. <laughs> because of what happened last season, I don't like John Tortorella. Uh, he, he just, he, he's miserable when bad things go his way. Okay, we're gonna do a preview of the NFL bracket here. Special, special NFL preview for this week. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going against the Green Bay Packers. It's gonna be Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady. Yeah. And then Buffalo Bills going against Patrick Mahomes, which means, and the Kansas City Chiefs, Josh Allen versus Kansas City and Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a face-off in the meetings. Let's go. Who do I think is gonna win? I think KC is gonna go to. No, I think Buffalo. I'm calling Buffalo. He's calling Buffalo. I'm calling KC. I'm going um, Green Bay. And then for that, I at first I thought maybe Tampa, but you know what? Green Bay has the edge. They're they were first in their conference. He I'm more excited about the Toronto Maple Leafs and their opportunity this 2021 season. So now. So, uh, next games uh, that we're going to be covering next week, January 24th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Calgary versus... Okay, our next four games are all away. We had three uh, games that were all at home, and now we have four games that are all away. So, Calgary are two games uh, in a row, the 24th at 4 p.m. and the 26th at 9 p.m. So, we got an early one and then a late one. And then the 28th, Edmonton vs. Toronto at 10 p.m. That means the game is ending at 1 a.m. Eastern Time. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm staying up for that. Um, and then the 30th at 7 p.m. our usual time, Edmonton vs. Toronto. 
So, some interesting games. Uh, excited to play Calgary is our first time playing Calgary. Markstrom's gonna start, but Markstrom's have a good season. I think he's gonna do stellar. So we better get a goal. And then there. after the 30th, we have a uh, four day pause. Or, yeah, a four day pause, and then we resume on February 4th. The reason for that four day pause is there is no reason. That was just the way the schedule uh, was made. That's it for today's video, guys. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to smash the like button, smash the notification, notification bell. bell. Smash it so you don't miss out on any of our videos, and yeah. subscribe. I checked our stats uh, on YouTube Studio here, and it says here that 82% of you guys are not subscribed. And so what are you doing? Subscribe! So you get content after content after content. We're just smashing you guys with content. We so started our brand new FLR series, the Frogan Leafs Reaction Series, where we react to every Leafs game. So that's a new series. We have plenty more unboxings coming. Yes! Forward. We might upgrade our rig. Who knows? We're redesigning our studios. We got brand new studios also. So stay tuned for lots to come during 2021. We can't wait for this year. And comment down below what you think of our FLR series and the Maple Leafs. And uh, let us know your thoughts. Yeah. So. And we'll don't forget. Go Leafs. Go. The most important thing of all. Go Leafs. Go. That's been our video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.